this new AI editing tool can make your pictures go from this to this in a single click of a button. I'm not joking. Let's get into the video. Well, it came up saying half. I don't know how it goes. As photographers, you probably already know, retouches and what and everything in between, spending time getting blemishes out and all of that kind of stuff it takes a very long time. It could take hours, days, weeks in my case. When I come back from events, I have 10, 15,000 images, 10 plus models. I need to get through these quickly to get the edits back. And a lot of time, 70% of the time is used just on the retouching so if anything can uh, help me with that process i think it's worth a try and i definitely have found the tool that i'll be using going forward so i've got a few selections here probably won't go through all of these we're going to go through like the main ones so what i'm going to do is let's try the first one and you can see here a few blemishes here a uh, few spots that obviously need to need to be removed so this is the full image and what we're going to do is we're going to right click once you've downloaded obviously Reblum, which you can get a free trial of and you can you can try this for yourself in the link in the description you can try it without any credit card needed you can give this for seven days free and you can try this out for yourselves so then when you want to download it in we're in lightroom right now edit in we'll go to Reblum. you want to edit with your lifespan adjustment you don't want to not click this as obviously you will not have the the edits that you've made to your to your image but i've got this in tiff adobe rgb 16 bit 300 and then we're going to press edit and now it's already loading up with uh, the natural so we're going to let this finish loading before we take a look so now look at this this has already done i mean this is the original and look at that so what we're gonna do is we'll double click zoom in it'll probably come out a bit i mean that is perfect <laughs> i wouldn't change a thing but we'll do before and after with just the natural one you can see selected again i love the ease of use of this this is literally just a click of a button i haven't even clicked a button yet i have just loaded it i've just loaded it up I haven't clicked anything yet and it's already done 95% of the work and this is the before after before after that is insane to me that is insane that this probably would have taken me about maybe 20 minutes to do this properly and it what this hasn't even taken me 10 seconds 
to <laughs> to to fix all of those issues. I mean, I like what's even done in the details in the hair. If you watch the before, after, before, after, it just clears up a bit more space to see the face here without the shadow. You see, even in this bit here where there's less light compared to here, it's done even under the eye for you. Majorly fix that under the eye. And it probably thinks some of the, obviously the, the freckles are part of it. But again, obviously anything on the face is going to, to remove. And I actually have a trick of, if you wanna, some a model of yours has maybe freckles that you like and you wanna keep in. There's actually a little trick that I see no one talking about. So I'm gonna leave that video above so you can check that out. Of course, after watching this video, but definitely check that out afterwards. But this is insane. It probably is like one little blemish there, but how long is that going to take you? About two seconds in a remove tool. You'll take that out manually by yourself. I mean, that's not really an issue when it's done all of this at a click of a button. Now, what I'm going to do is show you the difference between the natural and the fashion, which is just a bit more intense, but it's made for maybe like the high glamour fashion look that you might get in the studios and the tutorials. Um, I find it looks better just in, but each of these have their own look or style in certain lighting scenarios. And that's how I'll be using this as I mainly shoot outdoors. The lighting changes consistently. So I would definitely be needing to change between these two, but I will show you what the, the fashion looks like. As you see, it's a bit more, just a softer look bit more intense than the natural obviously hence the name natural what well, will show you the difference between the two that's natural fashion it's a bit just a flatter look but natural kind of keeps more of the the highlights and the shadows in there as you can see when I switch between the two but I actually like the fashion as I said certain scenarios even with the same model obviously same face hairstyle so different uh, lighting conditions will require you to change these two again preference of how it looks and these are the sliders intensity sliders you can see it changing how intense you want it but to be fair i've i leave it on full because i think even if you look at the detail if i zoom in again you can still see the pores of the skin you still see like the hairs there i mean this isn't just a masking tool like the other ais where it's literally just making someone look like a Barbie doll and it's just like smoothed out everything, there's no texture. There's literally so much texture and this is on full. You can even play this down a bit and as you see, even if I put it down slightly, you can kind of see things coming back in so you can even play with it and get more texture in. But as I said, even, even fully with the, the, the bars all the way up to the top, it's, this is perfect if I zoom back out that is a perfectly edited retouched even dodging and burning to me as well ah oh, this is insane and even does some of the body as well it will take some blemishes off the body as you can see uh, the arms here and the leg that is perfect so you'd go ahead and just save and you put it in your destination folder. Obviously I've already saved this, so I wouldn't save it right now, but that is a, is a game changer to me. And it's just the ease of use that I definitely love about this. Some of the others I've, I've tried and not liked at all. It's very complicated. It's not very easy to use for someone that's just coming into this. This would be perfect for someone who's a novice or learning um, intermediate, a click of a button, and you're getting professional standard retouching at the click of a, at your fingertips is insane to me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna try another one for you. Different lighting scenario. Uh, let's go back. Which one should we go for? Different lighting scenario. Let's go with this one right here. So again, we'll zoom in. As you can see. Quite a lot of blemishes to get rid of over here so again what we're going to do is right click edit in reblum edit copy of light adjustments wait for this to load up again it's loading in the natural 
this looks the same already. And does this look like this is the editing style and just how it does it, it makes this look so high end. This is a high, this is a high end magazine worthy retouch, and this is insane to me. A click of a button. So this again is of natural. I mean, it's, this is a natural. You can still see. Look at it's not ruining the sharpness of your images. It's not. You're not compromising any quality from the original image. It, to me, it's adding. It's adding a lot of quality. And this is natural again. We'll try some fashion. I like fashion for this. And look at, look at the detail. It's still there. The detail is all still there. Let's go back a bit. That is insane. That is insane. Again, there's just like one, one little blemish there, maybe at the top of the lip, a bit here. These are obviously freckles, but before, after, before, after. That is insane to me. And you can batch edit in Reblem as well. So what you want to do is just as you go through the same process as I did for a single image, you have multiple images after you've color graded it. You can then go ahead and select all of them, right click, go into Reblem, and then you can apply which of the natural or the fashion that you want to select on each of those images. Then you can go ahead and just export them the exact same way you just saw me do for the one single image. You just do the exact same thing for the multiple images. Again, massively, massively decreasing your editing time, saving you time on your edits. Now I have definitely have more videos on this guys. Like, believe me, I'm gonna be using this for all my edits moving forward and has streamlined my workflow tenfold on this so i'll definitely have more videos but if you go in the link in my description you can try it out you will get also a discount as well if you after your trial period that you want to continue it as you like it you'll get the discount there for you but again thanks to this video sponsor reblum for this uh incredible incredible software uh, again, I'm not going to bring anything to the channel. I truly don't use myself or even endorse like you'll, ne you'll never see that on this channel. And I tell you, this has this has me speechless, <laughs> which I'm hardly ever speechless. <laughs> but this is insane to me. So, yeah, guys, check that out and definitely wait for more. But again, everything's in the description below. Thanks to Rebel again for sponsoring this video. Now back to the vlog. This flashing. Uh, yeah, it's a blue, it's a white light.
Twitter. Ha, ha, ha. 